you can go up to anyone and say, hey, I like your hat, or hey, you do a good job here at the subway, man. You can do this so easily, it burns almost no calories. You can give every single person you meet a sense that they're a winner in their life, and they will feel more control that day. Let's go. Hello and welcome to Self Help Me, the show where I self help you how self help yourself. Today I'm talking about the winner effect, the winner winner chicken dinner effect. I win. Basically, it boils down to if you feel like you're winning, do you perform better? I've found in my life, irrefutably, yes. People are looking for success, and success is the greatest changer of the brain that mankind has ever known. When I feel like I'm winning, I'm a contributor, I'm valued, I perform, I think, twice as well, maybe three times. The winner effect is a term in biology, which means if you set one animal to compete with a weakened opponent, and he wins, of course, he's more likely to win a second game or match against a strong opponent. And there's also the halo effect. So when you're performing well and you're confident and you feel like a winner, other people perceive you as a winner. So growing up, you know, I would get in situations where I wanted to try something new, for example, lacrosse. And I, I was sort of obsessive, like, and I'd have a friend who was really good at it, so we'd practice every single day. The fourth string, here's what you'd have to do. You'd literally sit and watch the practice. You would not participate. They could have had two practices, A, B, A team, B team, but no, we would pad up and we would watch other people get better. A year later, a new coach came in, and so I had another chance, and I quickly became a captain in that team. All of a sudden, I went from every time you pass me the ball, I drop it, to I was one of the leading scorers in one year. That guy believing in me, or just not knowing any better, allowed me to become something. We don't give the benefit of the doubt very much. Sucking scum I have ever, ever seen. We don't create very, very many openings where people can become winners. Normally you're a loser until you prove otherwise. If the idea that we are getting too much self-esteem, there's too much positivity is true, then you would think you'd be going through life and people would be patting you on the back all the time and saying, you're a winner, you can be anything, you can be the president. And marketing does that. You know, marketing says you can be that in exchange for buying this Coke, but individuals in the culture aren't often doing that. More often your boss is telling you, you did this wrong. Your, your significant other is telling you, you did this wrong. The media is telling you, your party did this wrong or their party did this wrong. So there's just a general feeling of, I'm not shaping up and I ought to be. There's a book called Games People Play where the psychologist determined that every single human being wants to be stroked. And we invent all these manipulations just to get the very basic, good job, you're okay. For everybody it's different. Some people want the hug, some people want the good job, pat on the back. How you been, man? I've been better, how you feeling? Whatever it is, that's what human beings are after. We are social animals, and even if we're after money or we're after something else, like a position in a workplace or a new car, we're going for that in order to get a stroke from, from the people in our, in our village, our little society. And so here we are holding on to this free, unlimited resource, and we don't give it. Cut me some slack, Jack. Maybe it's time for what John Dewey prescribed. John Dewey, the Dewey Decimal System. He was around at a time when arguably it was even more difficult to live. And his belief was that students, especially young people, need to have their confidence built. And you don't develop confidence necessarily just by being validated. I think it comes down to, number one, forgiving everyone in your life. Number two, determining what is it that I want to hear? You know, what is it that would make me feel safe? The burden can't go on every other person to talk to you the way that you think they should so that you feel like a winner. Hi, doggy. You're my favorite customer. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye-bye. Eventually, you have to begin to talk to yourself that way and come back to why do I feel like a valuable member of society? And if I remember that about myself, I start remembering what I value about other people more. 
I, I have this belief that other people are like an iceberg to us. And all we can remember is the tip of negativity. Sometimes with other people, that's one event. One thing they did wrong or a mistake they made. And it's so hard to remember all the love they gave you and all the great things they did. So that's the difficulty with forgiveness. But at the same time, you can do that to yourself. You're remembering one little failure, one little thing you're not doing well enough. And you're comparing yourself to a thousand different life paths and career paths. And there's just no way you make it out of that alive with all your self-esteem intact. So you've got to get underneath the tip of that iceberg in yourself first and remember that 90% that you can be grateful for. Even, <laughs> this, is, this is messed up, but like even a serial killer probably like helped some people along the way, right? Maybe they're mostly tip, but like underneath, they probably did something right. Everyone I encounter is mostly goodness and it's hard to remember because the tip is all we can look at. You can't stop staring at it, it's popping out of the water. And so I would advise all of you to scuba dive, remember what's great about you. Um, it's really cool giving yourself compliments. Sometimes I do it now. It, it feels like a little revolution because we live in such a dark, cynical time right now. So just going like, dude, you're, you're awesome. I've never met anybody like you, Devin. Whoever's watching it, never met anybody like you, give it a try, give it a try. Exploring that, that part of yourself that you're grateful for. And that's what I want to advocate at the end of this video. And uh, yeah, hope you all enjoy. You're great. Most of you are great almost all the time.